This is India Unsolved and today we'll decode the blood rains in Kerala. What in Kerala? Blood rains. On many occasions in 1896, 1957, 2001 and 2012, Kottayam, Idki and Vayanad districts of Kerala witnessed rain that was red in color, blood red. Residents said this red rain stained clothes, burnt leaves and made soil infertile. Very strange. And there's more. This red rain reportedly fell over very small areas, not more than a few kilometers, and was preceded by loud thunder and flash of light. Do we know why the rain turned red? The Center for Earth Science Studies in Kerala found the brownish red solids in the rain to be rich in minerals such as nickel, copper, manganese, titanium and chromium. But how did these red substances pollute the rain? Nothing concrete yet, but there are theories. Theory 1 meteor shower. The Center for Earth Science Studies initially attributed the red rain to an exploding meteor containing these red particles. In 2003, physicists Godfrey Luis and Santosh Kumar said the meteor possibly caused the thunder and lightning. Convincing, right? But it doesn't explain how debris from similar meteors containing red particles exploded in the same area every time. Theory 2 spores from algae Later CESS and the Tropical Botanical Garden Research Institute reported there was no meteoric volcanic or desert dust present in the rainwater spores from an algae that lives on tree trunks and wet rocks that have a strong orange color infected the rain This sure sounds convincing but is there more Researchers at Stintec, a lab in Sri Lanka, found that the spore cells replicated without DNA even under temperatures exceeding 572 degrees Fahrenheit. Replicating without DNA? And that brings us to the wildest theory. Theory 3: Aliens? Louise and Kumar claimed that these spores came from extraterrestrial life. from space to kerala on a meteor read this extraterrestrial biology is responsible for this red rain the spores were on the meteor that exploded over kerala prior to the rainstorm they were growing at temperatures that would kill other life forms far fetched but is it still a possibility could be but again similar spores on a meteor but only over kerala from 1896 to 2012 so earthly or extraterrestrial we still don't know but this has left scientists divided globally which unsolved mystery from india has baffled you any unexplained phenomenon you want us to decode let us know in the comments and we'll come back with a new mystery <laughs>